Hi third graders, it's Mrs. Delota. I noticed that most people did not do task number three correctly. So I wanted to make sure, for math, I wanted to make sure that I made a video for you so that you uh, could redo it on Friday the correct way. So if you look at task three, it says option one, take a screenshot if you want to draw on the page using the markup tool. Now I tried this and it was very hard for me and I even have my, my special little tool. Um, so I think for most of you, option two is going to be easier. Take out your whiteboard and cut it into four sections. Now some of you might have a whiteboard at home, some of you might not. So I am using my sleeve. Then draw the arrays to match the equations. Uh-oh, most of you just told me the answer, but that's not what the question says. Um, it says either way, post a picture when you are done. So I'm going to do the first one for you. You don't have to do the first one now that I'm doing it for you but I do want you to do the other three. Okay, here's my problem. It says five times one plus five times eight. The directions say draw the arrays to match the equations. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my first array. That one's really simple. It's just five rows with one in each row. Then I'm gonna draw a line like this to help me see that I'm drawing my second array. My second array also has five um, rows and eight in each row. It's going to take me a little longer to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let me double check here. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got it. So I've drawn an array to match the multiplication expression. Now, if you'd like to take it a step further, which I hope you do, you can solve. First, I'm going to solve for my multiplication problem on the top. I know that five times one is five. Um, plus five times eight. Lots of ways you can figure that out. You can count each dot. You can skip count. If you know your fives, you can um, just put down the answer that you know, or you can use your multiplication chart. Then I'm gonna add those together. Five plus 40 equals 45. Now, another way that I could do this is I could look at the whole array. So the whole thing. There are five rows, and now there are nine in each row. I know that nine times, or excuse me, five times nine equals 45. So um, if you want to, if it's too hard for you to do, like to, you know, cut your um, sleeve into different sections, you can just do the whole problem like this, take a screenshot, send it to me. Go on to the next problem and then the next problem. Okay, so you're going to do three of these for me. Remember, you don't have to do that first one because I just did it for you, but if you want to, that's fine too. So I really need to make sure that you can do this and that's why I'm going to reassign it to you for Friday. If you have any questions, you can meet me Friday at 8.45 um, for the student help session. All right, I hope this is